making uh, um, the country, Nigeria, to go backwards, number one is politics. Number two is religion. The way we manipulate uh, those two things in the interest of the people that has the, the, the power makes a lot of mess of people getting justice in this country. When I watched the video, I felt so bad for this country. This is, this is a, a situation where uh, uh, they were lucky to be released after nine years. Some people have died in such a, a terrible uh, situation without anybody knowing. Should it continue like that? The only way by which we can help ourselves is to come together as stakeholders and assist organizations that are ready to face the music in the interest of justice for uh, the common man. Common man has no, no, no say in this country. The, the problem of injustice and they will look at the, uh, the case of, that we were citing. People spending nine years in prison hmm. and at the end of the day, court pronounced them not uh, guilty to the offense after they have spent nine years. So nine years out of a man's life. It's almost a decade. It's not a, almost a decade. Just a decade. Then yes. such a man, if care is not taken, cannot be the same again. Sir, Pastor Femi, you see the kind of life. Now, the question is, yes, sir. that nine years wasted in their life, who is going to compensate them? That's a very big question, sir. It's a very big question. And they are supposed to be compensated. What um, the lawyer was doing, he's doing his job. And um, the only area where I fought him is the fact that um, once a judgment has been pronounced by the court of law, no lawyer will have the right to want to come out in, um, uh, to the press. And you are coming to the, uh, 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 to the public to tell people that um, what happened was this and that after the pronouncement of judgment in the court of law. That is another grave offense against the lawyer. And I expect the Nigerian Bar Association to look into such issue because it is um, against the ethics of the profession. Why will a man of God be using police to harass citizens, to harass church members, is he uh, doing things that will increase the number of people in the church or working against uh, uh, the church that he's, um, he's uh, working for? Or God? So eventually, if uh, uh, the spirit of forgiveness is not imbibed in the mind of um, such leader, the, the church will become empty because nobody will be interested in uh, going to the church again. And the few members that will remain with him, they are probably uh, are going to be dancing to his tune, which means they won't be able to tell him the truth. And uh, do you continue to call such a place a church of God or otherwise? Government cannot pretend not to know what is happening in uh, MFM. Yes or any other, any other religious, religious organization, uh, for that matter. So why will government also keep quiet and not do anything about that? What uh, um, is the um, work of government in protecting lives of the citizens then?
gave, the uniform was not who there. Who gave the police authority to slap yeah. citizens? It's not done. Is it human? Because of that, they incarcerated this man and then uh, 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 levied allegation of armed robbery, attempt to, uh, to defraud and to rob MFM, MFM on demand. A man that is not a member of a... He's not even a member of MFM. MFM even, at all. He does not even have any connection. Any connection. To panic. As a solo government, Bamileru. Four weeks. Kilon Shelley, there come be me by ye. Shall like being she wa para and me para, let mommy shall want lamb for me. Ah, what about monk at all? No, she. Money kill on him, she only be a vepa, Jew, you call a monem. I don't know anything about that. We bought in Coba and Coba and Coba and Coba and Lottie Nicking Shoe. Mood and Rotty, there was a time Toko Wajadi. Okay. Maybe. Around 9, 10 a.m. Harold. Okay. First time, tell me at the past of every man. Last time, but until one who say first time, I'm arrived. You are apart from people, but what you mummy? You be man, you can cry against it. Hmm. One day, you be Oko Kwa Lord become the same diagram. Tony can draw. Okay. Or I be see what you mean. Okay. Mori camera man. Mora on lock, but it's sorry. Inda we bu benye. E mumu uli sorrow. Any? Any? Be restaurant, uh, be be Okay. Oh, I joko. be camera. diagrams. On my two, on my cottage, on my posse, camera, on my doubting, on my battery, the moon, on my danu. We shall we go and kill the lady. If I move my trial, that's in bail, or past of them, we kill a she gone gone. But one only sorrow. Only song, cotton shell, and gone gone. Two five book me a thing. On tea, thirty one prison. One bound at Jagon, the three years move in bound solo. I know the following Toman will Okay, once one or two swears at all, Papa. What young couple woman saying, saying, young couple say, not saying. Oh, what young couple me see a officer say me at a toy or one of you call her. Oh, I've been sorry, Auntie Baba. Most son caught him on Kai. That's him only beer, my damn image effect. My mommy, I thought this is the better way. You've been not to see. Apart from that, Spanner called you one con, going shape or soft for me more. You want, you should do me not so cool. So what are you telling me? I've been waiting for this opportunity like this for good 17 years. I did not. Olotu, yes. many are suffering like this today. You will not believe except you are. You go there and you hear from them. And they have to just cooperate, just be chewing their so mouth. They, they, they are now using that as an evidence in the, that they caught them they where they were to kill planning to kill one M uh, DK Luka. Can, can you imagine? And to, to can, rob. You, can you imagine a lot of uh, 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 complicating matters, hmm. wrongdoings hmm. in the hand of the police in this country? We believe that um, with our efforts as human rights uh, activists, things like this will stop. But I would advise the society not to keep quiet. Whenever any cases of human rights abuse occur to you, to your family, to your friends, please ensure that you get in touch with uh, human rights uh, organizations. organizations. Like yours. Like us. Because I've heard Make about a report and have done. ensure that diligent uh, uh, justice is, is done. Don't mind the, the uh, um, suffering that the person will go through. At the end of the day, there is always light yeah. at the end of the tunnel. Of the tunnel. Hmm. 
so, so before we go into how your organization can be of help to a lot of people, because I'm looking at a situation whereby a lot of kind-hearted and uh, uh, human rights enthusiasts who have the fund, who have the motivation to motivate can come in. But let's talk about the big picture. When you watch the video, mm. the mm. series of Pastor Femi John, uh, Jim of MFM, how he went through his dilemma in the heart of a supposed or alleged Christian organization, mm. and the video of uh, the other one, the, the usher, Okay. And that's Caleb, Pa Caleb, who mm -hmm. almost ran mad in the prison. And the video of that Jerry, the barber, mm -hmm. who was hand-picked uh, and fraudulently conjoined, you know, and influenced to lie. When you watch it, how did you feel as a human rights activist? And what did you think that tells about law, ethics, and freedom to personal liberty? especially in the church environment? You see, this is one of the things that um, uh, bleeds my heart. Two things are making uh, um, the country, Nigeria, to go backward. Number one is politics. Number two is religion. The way we manipulate uh, those two things in the interest of the people that has the, the, the power, makes a lot of mess of people getting justice in this country. When I watched the video, I felt so bad for this country. This, this is a, a situation where uh, uh, they were lucky to be released after nine years. Some people have died in such a a terrible uh, situation without anybody knowing. Should it continue like that? That's why we are saying that um, people should come out. Those who have uh, uh, ability should assist human rights organizations to do more. To procure justice for yes, the ordinary people. Yes, for the ordinary people. When I watched the video, for nine good years, the and they, they mess many near death experiences. Lives. Yes. Many near death experiences. One of them was even shot in the leg. Yes. And the gun, Pastor Femi. Yeah, Pastor Femi. And the gunshot is in there. It's At the time, he they said they took him to the beach. As a terminal, they wanted to throw him to the water and shoot him. Mm. And they were asking that what secret of uh, this uh, Ulukoya do you have? And he said, I don't have any secret. Well, mm. you, what's secret? And it was one police officer, I've forgotten his name, maybe uh, prom Inspector Promise or something like that, that God used. That they said, they did not man. kill him that day. Please don't kill this man. This man, just leave him. Uh, they wanted to shoot him. They, they have to dispose the gunshot because the, the, it was cock sure for them to just shot him. They disposed it and they slapped him. He said he was even half dead. He thought he was dead. He saw his spirit coming and they just loaded him in the bus, took him back. Another one was when they took his hand, put it on a slab and used a bottle of self to hit to it. Smash it. To smash the hand. It's cut up. Uh, another time, they brought food to them in the prison, poisoned food allegedly, and they didn't eat. And those who ate died. Another time was when they took them to SARS and they put them in a dingy cell whereby they cannot raise their head up because there was... Uh, Needles uh, and down was uh, bottles. They couldn't stretch. They couldn't even sit properly like human being. And one of the IPOs that God ministered to, I forgot his name to me. God bless the IPO. Told them that if they call your name in the night, one a.m. Don't answer. Don't answer. If they call your name, now they, those guys came. They called their name. Called their name. They didn't answer. But those that their name were called, they don't hear. Best of one. Idi or tin the jiman kusil or one. I look to thirty fifty something days. Timba ni no timba. Timba bagbe. Timba bagbe. Ni no be. Kai. Ni agon. Tori bi timo wa. Oh le di de. Oh isu agumelori. Eh. Oh le joko. Ah. So moti dabi. Ni no sell it. Ni ni. Moti dabi o samanga majar moti fufu. Eh, le joko, mo le joko. Ise wa abere ni abere lo show. Ah, ma to ba kilo one letter fi le joko. E show one letter ni. Okay na show. E show ni so ma druba ni. Ajo meta meta. Tese mi batika kono ma to ba la nu ono lo palu ma shimi le to ma pei. E le yo ishi a criminal. Ko di ba kono landi ni Tommy Lambridge ni. Ah, Tommy Lambridge. Ajo bimibole ni. Eh. 
Mais le rancor, le roi, c'est là, c'est criminel. Il faut dire que tu fais ces hommes. Je vais me montrer que tu es un homme. Je vais me montrer que tu es un homme. Ah! Hum! Ni un homme. Ah! Mais le rancor, le roi. Ogbowọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀rọ̀r
be aware of the evil deeds that are going on in our society in Nigeria. And that is the more reason why people should come out to rescue the needy, particularly at this time. Because uh, if we allow things to go the way it is going, it will get to a point that um, life will not be uh, uh, meaningful at all in this country. This is the reason why a lot of people are finding their ways, trying to get yep. out of the country. Yeah, the Jappa because syndrome. Of, yeah, this Jappa syndrome. Not only because of money, but because of insecurity of and, life. And injustice. Injustice. You can't get justice. You, you can't get justice in this country. And the only way by which we can help ourselves is to come together as stakeholders and assist organizations that are ready to face the music in the interest of justice for uh, the common man. Common man has no, no, no say in this country. And it's not that we don't have the means to uh, uh, get justice for these people, but the common post, the, 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 the public fund, is talked in the hands of a few they don't use this uh, um, public fund uh, properly in order to uh, help the common man. That's why the rate of crime in the society is increasing on a daily basis. There must be a, uh, a way by which people will come out to assist human rights organizations to help people that are in need, especially the poor masses, to get justice. We find a lot of children on the street these days, simply because their parents are divorced, yeah. broken home, because they don't have anybody to take care of them. In those days where we were in the uh, um, civil service, as social welfare officer, we used to have home for delinquent children. We are will pick them on the street, take them to the home, to, 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 to rehabilitate their life, to bring them back to normal human being. A lot of people, a lot of uh, children have passed through those stages and they become, uh, uh, um, human, they become responsible human beings today. Some of them will be hearing what I am I'm saying, or parents that have um, uh, took, taken their children to such um, facilities. But these days, where are those facilities? These are what governments should resuscitate to ensure that um, the lives of um, these children are reshaped in order to uh, make the, so uh, the society, the country, uh, a better place to live. I want to ask you this question before we round up, because we're going to talk about the uh, big picture. Your agency, how do donors support you in terms of the work, the kind of work you do? Because you see, there's so much to be done. The society is, is, is filled up with a whole lot of emotional debris. And uh, it is only people like you. The Bible says, uh, I mean, mm. peace, uh, bless. Uh, are those who make peace, and if you can only, you are a conflict revolution expert mm. because your job is about conflict resolution, but conflict yes. resolution within the family, within the society, <clears throat> and within organizations and all that. How do you think donors, people that are watching you abroad, people that like what you are doing, or people that even have challenges that they want you to help them take up and give a final solution to? How can they support in terms of the best? The best way for people to support us is to collaborate with us. What do you mean, sir? Collaboration in terms of um, uh, financial support, intellectual uh, uh, support, in terms of um, taking up matters of those who don't have means to get justice, standing by them. And why we are... Uh, uh, using our professional knowledge to rescue people out of um, the gulag of injustice. We need people that will support us with finance, to support us 
with um, advice to stand by us. We need volunteers as well. People who will come up to render uh, um, voluntary services. Because the, the, the uh, level at which uh, criminality and injustice is going in this country, <clears throat> we need a lot of people to come around to support human rights organizations in order to reduce the rate of injustice in the society. So people can render, like myself, I, uh, like I told you, I voluntarily retired from the civil service after about um, 30, years. 30 years. Since then, I've been receiving pensions of as little as 30 something thousand naira. But no. the, where does that <laughs> take me? It's not even... Where does that take me? So, support of people that are, are willing, that have the passion to help others. To clean the society of injustice. To clean the society of injustice is very, very germane at this particular point. And the expectation is that when people are ready to help others, we are uh, in, the, um, in the middle to assist people that are in need from people that are ready to, to help. So I urge the uh, well, uh, wealthy people in the society, the people that are, God has blessed, to also use their blessing and wealth of experience to assist those who are passing through injustice in this country through our organizations. That can be done, and a lot of people will be taken out of um, uh, um, the, the, the problem of injustice. And they will look at uh, uh, the case of, that we were citing, people spending nine years in prison. Mm. And at the end of the day, court pronounced them not uh, guilty to the offense after they have spent nine years. So nine years out of a man's life. It's almost a decade. It's not a, almost a decade. Just a decade. Then yes. such a man, if care is not taken, cannot be the same again. So Apostle Femi is complaining of heart problem. Definitely. Even his general physics. Himself and others, others. that spent that nine years. Even Papa they will have one ailment or the other that will They've gone they through the worst of the of worst conditions. Life. Go to just check people in that uh, young Goku prison mm. or uh, Agodi. You see the kind of life. Now, the question is yes, sir. that nine years wasted in their life, who is going to compensate them? That's a very big question, sir. It's a very big question. And they are supposed to be compensated. I mentioned it in one of the interviews yeah. that they can take up uh, uh, this matter by suing the uh, police authority for compensation to get their nine years uh, uh, that was wasted of their life. So do you know that the church itself that put them in that dilemma, when they came out, they sued them to this record for their money to be paid, to, to be properly remunerated because they were, uh, they were paid employers. I mean, Pastor Femi and uh, uh, Pakilev. Caleb. Now, when the the industrial court gave judgment that it should be paid. This same church still went back to appeal the judgment, meaning that they shouldn't be awarded, they should be rewarded for the nine years they wasted in jail without committing the crime. And even their stipend that's supposed to be given to them out of free will and the grace of God, this the is church true. denied them. Yes. So what does that tell you about the church? A church like MFM. Uh, you see, we, we call church, church, church. It is not all churches that are doing the will of God. When such in, injustice is going on in a, a, a place called a, a church or any religious organization for that matter. A place of worship. A place of worship. Then what kind of... Um, uh, um, uh, what kind of uh, thinking would people have about... Those who run such a place of worship. I'm sorry, Sir. Pastor Femi said, now that forgive. 
You see, that's another thing. He said in our church, we don't forgive if you offend. They throw tire at you. They throw the ring. They throw everything. They, 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 they basin at you. He's um, church not not meant uh, for forgiveness. That's what Jesus said. That's what Jesus said. That, that that's what uh, um, any sane religious leader should always have in mind. When you don't forgive other people, how do you want God to forgive you of your sins? Because no man is free from sin. No matter how saint you may call yourself, no man is free from committing one sin or the other on a daily basis. So the, on the issue of uh, uh, um, those pastors that, have, that were incarcerated for nine years, they have the right to claim any amount. And if the, like the case was taken to industrial court, for the, court, just for the, the salary. The industrial court gave a ruling, that they should but pay the, the church decided to appeal. Yes, sir. Then, after the appeal, what comes up? Maybe, probably, they are in the appeal court. Yes, sir. Up till now. Yes, sir. Something we will like wait that. until the appeal court gave its judgment. After the judgment of the appeal court, if they are not satisfied, they can proceed further to the Supreme Court so that we get to the apex of the matter and ensure that we get justice for these people. At the end of the day, maybe they were dismissed. The, the case was dismissed. Yes, sir. And they were pronounced not guilty. Yes, sir. Uh -huh. Once that is done and the uh, uh, judgment yes, sir. paper is uh, there. Yes, sir. And they have not appealed that first judgment. No. Uh -huh. That means the, 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 the uh, church has accepted their faith of uh, injustice in 2016. Against, German, since yeah, 2016, yeah, German, since 2016 against the church members. So that means uh, if um, the proper thing will be done, these uh, people can go to uh, go further by uh, suing even the church and the police for uh, unlawful uh, incarceration and detention. And the issue of um, maltreatment that was done to the pastor, like um, shooting, of his, shooting of his leg uh, and then um, smashing it, of his uh, hand with, it, with, with a uh, bottle. Yes, you know with seven bottle. up bottle. Yes, he those did, things. Using a gun to hit his chest. His chest. Yes, those slapping him. Say, right. Uh, those can be uh, a claim. Can can raise huge claim in the court of law because there are evidences to show we are uh, um, the injuries. Uh, we are seen on their body. Hmm. Injury to uh, to a uh, human being. Hmm. It's a serious uh, offense in the court of law. Hmm. But look at a situation by one, uh, what's the name of that uh, legal advisor? Is it uh, Davis Nadeju or something like that? Came out. Legal in, advisor to, to the church. To the church and uh, the, 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 the doctor, the Kyolukaya. I think it's doctor here. Yeah. yeah, coming out and he's saying that oh, uh, they were forgiving Pastor Sefemi, and he was reading almost three letters about redeployment, and he brought some people who were said to be people that argued against them in the court of law before they were acquitted. He brought them, and they were still saying oh, he planned to rob. He came to us. They brought three OPC members, then they brought the CSO that was allegedly seen in Ibabalao's house in Oshu, Bumosho, that led to the alleged frame up. Now, the, Babala, uh, the CSO now came and said in his life he has never been to Bumosho. Oh, yes. but, but the following week, the journalist, uh, the very wonderful Yoruba Gidi journalist, mm. went to Bumosho. Visited to, to visit the Babalao's the, the Babala, place. Yeah, we even thought Babalao was still alive, but unfortunately the man is dead. But the son was still alive and he said, he narrated, said, how, he narrated he how he used to even yes, help Adamosi to, 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 to put laceration, laceration on his head. On his head. 21, 41 laceration, all those uh, hmm. Aforon, uh, uh, Igboya, Ayeta, and Aworu, all sort of uh, juju that he does for them. And um, uh, just and the, 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 the Babalao said, son said, he even came to court. And they were the witnesses that the court used to discharge and acquit them because they came to say, oh, this is what happened. Then there's another one, the hotel manager, where they went to do their alleged fraudulent film. They are still looking for that one, and maybe it's out of the country. Who also arranged it? They came. That was how they got their judgment. Now, when the Babalao son spoke now, 
we've not heard anything. But sir, looking at what David said, you want the delegate advisor, what is the position of the law here? Well, every legal advisor will protect his client, for sure. What um, the lawyer was doing, he's doing his job. And um, the only area where I fought him is the fact that um, once a judgment has been pronounced by the court of law, no lawyer will have the right to want to come out in, um, uh, to the press and the to public. the public and be saying that uh, uh, what happened was this or that in defense of the people that, were, uh, uh, that employed him against the uh, um, people that were incarcerated. It would be wrong for any lawyer to come out and be going against the ruling of any court. Once the judgment is given, the right thing for a lawyer to do, if you don't agree with the ruling, is to go to the appeal court, to appeal against the judgment. Once that is not done, since 2016, up till now, and you are coming to the, uh, 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 to the public to tell people that um, what happened was this and that, after the pronouncement of judgment in the court of law, that is another grave offense against the lawyer. And I expect the Nigerian Bar Association to look into such issue because it is um, against the ethics of the profession that after judgment, a lawyer will come up and be saying that he did not, he disagree. If you want to disagree with judgment of the court of law, then the next thing is to uh, uh, be professional. Go to appeal court, appeal against the judgment, do the right thing, and then get a, a proper I mean, judgment. That is where justice is uh, uh, applied. Not that a lawyer will just come out and be uh, uh, saying things that will um, further damage the image of uh, his client and even himself as a professional. So it is absurd what the lawyer has, has done. It is not right at all. It is not right. Hmm. So something must be done about that by the association of um, uh, uh, lawyers. Hmm. Because the way judgment is being applied in this country, there is need uh, uh, for the authority to uh, take uh, a swipe on some of the lawyers that are not doing uh, things right. Hmm. That's a very fundamental yes. revelation, sir. You know, I, I, I look at it at times and I just feel, well, maybe we are work in progress in this country, but when you look at it critically, sir, with total honor, you are a veteran citizen and you are a senior citizen of this country with a whole lot of, I mean, people talk about you in Ibadan with so much river and uh, things you have done. If you see Dike Olukoya sit one on one across like I'm sitting with you, what are you going to tell him? With all what you heard about the inhuman, I mean, I'm sorry. The injustice. Injustice, I'm sorry. There was another case of a small boy at Jamie Sogbe that they said shared something okay. on, on, online. Online. And it was, and locked, it was up. Um, locked up. Yes, and and the, the mother is blind, mm. accordingly to valuable information. The, the father is a farmer or something in the kitty. And the boy, I think he just got his whatever. Um, they just, uh, some people have been helping the boy from abroad. There's another one, his choir, Richard, that was former choir master. He has been picked up severely by police. Just pick him as if they're picking snail until he has to run away from his house in the Maguire area into hiding. The other day he went to court. Again, the judge he just slammed him out of uh, content of court or something. The way everybody, almost everybody, another case of another pastor in, uh, in Gondo locking a couple. He locked the man. The wife took food to him. And uh, the, the, the same was spoke church. The, the same MFM. Well, if I have the opportunity to meet the head of the church or the founder of the church, I will simply advise him to uh, imbibe the spirit of forgiveness. As we have read in the Bible and um, we have seen yeah, a lot of. Uh, people offended Jesus. How many of them did he 
are incarcerated. Even the, the thief and, and the red. Uh -huh. So, if the spirit of uh, forgiveness is still what Jesus preaches, He said, "God forgive them, for they don't know what they were doing." They were doing. Then, what uh, justification does any uh, um, GO or church founder or leader have not to forgive whoever offend him or her? So that is the simple uh, uh, advice that I will have given. Because if you want to look at them, um, what everybody is um, doing against you as a church leader, when will you have time to concentrate? But there's a voice on note, when he called a woman and he was engaging her that I heard that you and Susu person are conspiring against me, and the woman said, sir, daddy, how did you get it? He said the police forwarded it, because when the police arrested this choir master, they allegedly took the man's phone, and the police went to the extent of opening his phone and forward the message on the phone to the to the, the man, G, to the man, and the man now called another woman whose husband also worked in the church. I say, I saw what you did. The police have made available to me what you did on your phone. The woman see, was lying. Look at that. The woman started to lie that ah, that did want to hack for me. Want to hack. But luckily, the woman recorded his voice. He was now threatening her, subtle threat that when the police pick you up, you need what to say. And uh, when did I do to you? You call me Maradona. You know. A whole general overseer of a, of a very big church. I mean, condescending to calling a member, <laughs> say that Maureen can to to buy the buy 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 song for me. Ah, to make Benson, we are not so yes so. You know this kind of thing. The voiceover is there. That is that is um, a threat to human life. That woman has run yeah. into other ground. You see, say. a lot of people will have been yes. running away yes. from such Because uh, they know acts. the next thing. The, the next thing the is to use the up. police. Yes, Why I, will a man of them. God be using police to harass citizens, to harass church members? Is he uh, doing things that will increase the number of people in the church or working against uh, uh, the church that he's, um, he's uh, working for? Or God. So, eventually, if uh, uh, the spirit of forgiveness is not imbibed in the mind of um, such leader, the, the church will become empty. Because nobody will be interested in uh, going to the church again. And the few members that will remain with him, they are probably uh, are going to be dancing to his tune. Which means they won't be able to tell him the truth. And uh, do you continue to call such a place a church of God or otherwise? So it is better for such leaders of churches to uh, uh, have a rethink and stand by what the Lord Jesus Christ taught them in the Bible rather than... Uh, uh, Behaving as human and doing things that are against the teachings of the uh, their faith. Hmm. So, when uh, things are going on like this, I think government also should have a way by which they should come in to uh, to rescue people that are being. Uh, are maltreated by uh, the uh, people that have the power. Yeah, influential over people. Influential people. Because there should be a, 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 this a, a, a system. There, there should be a reorganization whereby there will be a monitoring system to ensure that innocent citizens are not um, being uh, uh, desperately uh, uh, tossed around, tossed around, death with, and then um, tortured by uh, powerful uh, individuals in the society. At least this matter is going viral. Yes, sir. Government cannot pretend not to know what is happening in... Uh, MFM. Um, yes. Or any, any other Related religious organization uh, for that matter. So why will government also keep quiet and not do anything about that? What uh, um, is the... Um, work of government in protecting lives of the citizens then. So there should be a way by which uh, uh, government monitor the activities of religious organizations as well. 
because the constitution provides that uh, government should protect and um, um, ensure uh, uh, that lives and properties of citizens are properly protected. So if government is keeping quiet and things like this are going on, then it will come to a time when citizens themselves will come up, will come out and demonstrate and um, uh, face the, 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 uh, the adversaries. Yeah. Yes. Like it ends us. Like it, it, like it was done in the end us um, protest. If eventually nothing is done, that will be the end, end point. Hmm. Because the number of people that are going through uh, injustice in this country are many. And a lot of cases go unreported. Only the few mm. that um, are lucky are being reported and um, getting to the hairs of the, the, the general public. So people should not keep quiet. Their families should uh, be reporting cases that are going on anywhere in the country, cases of injustice no matter whoever is involved. The law provides that uh, lives of citizens should be protected. Nobody has the right to unlawfully uh, uh, take laws into their hand. When you have issues with people, the law has a way by which you can resolve your issues. Mm. If you cannot resolve through uh, mediation and conciliation, then you can resolve in the court of law, not by harassing and um, using the security agencies to deal with innocent citizens. Helpless citizens. Helpless citizens. Poor citizens. Poor people Who in the society. The only mistake of their life that they work into your organization or they work with you. And, and they are coming to the organization or to the uh, um, church is to uh, find succor. Yes, sir. Like the, the, the security man said, the, the other man, the second man, is it the, 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 the usher? He said he was a Muslim. Mm -hmm. that he thought he was going to find succor in Christianity. Yeah, that, yes, that was and why he, he changed, joined, changed his, his faith. faith. And Pastor Femi said, the Bible said that we we'll run into a church and we we'll find peace. That, but in those, in those case, he, 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 he ran into misfortune. And misfortune. And eventually, he's regretting regret changing his, uh, his faith. Yes, sir. Then, what will God himself do for uh, uh, such a, a, um, a church um, leader that is um, not encouraging those who are coming into the church to imbibe the spirit of uh, uh, um, loving God and um, seeing it as a, a form of... Uh, uh, um, spirit uplifting. Rather than that, they ended up in, in, in prison. Hmm. Whether they commit the offense or they did not commit the offense, when the spirit of forgiveness is no longer there, hmm. what will become of other people that are thinking of converting or changing their faith to uh, Christianity. Christianity? That is where the issue of forgiveness comes uh, into uh, um, relevance. When you see, if you have the privilege also to see Pastor Femi, um, uh, Jerry, and uh, the other man, um, the, the Baba, uh, the Baba, the Ocha, the, 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 you know, the Pastor Femi, the head of Ocha, mm -hmm. and uh, the Baba, if you see them sit with you, what is going to be advised after that kind of life-threatening Lifetime experience in the hand of a church of God. Well, they still have the opportunity to seek redress. Okay. My advice for them would be to seek redress. Mm. If they have a good lawyer that will critically look into their matters and a, a, a right organization okay, sir. that will stand in their defense to seek redress. Because uh, uh, the law provides that when you are unlawfully 
are, are treated. It is your right to seek redress. Fundamental human right. Um, fundamental human right. To seek redress and get justice. So they should, notwithstanding the, 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 the level of uh, uh, human uh, degradation they have passed through, they can still uh, uh, use the provisions of the law to seek redress. That would be my advice for them. And I know the, the number of days, the number of years they spent in prison might have um, made them to lose everything. But the support of the society, especially people that uh, are well-to-do, will be needed to help uh, rights organizations. Well-meaning Nigerians. Yes. Well-meaning citizens. Well-meaning citizens. To help rights organizations, to help them to seek redress. That's a very powerful one. Mm -hmm. hmm. I'm very, very happy to meet you, sir, because I've heard a whole lot about you and how you've been able to help a lot of family, organization, and uh, small-scale communities to get justice, even in very hard and unthankful condition. Uh, uh, what do you want a whole lot of people whom and abroad to know much about your organization? What more do you want them to know? Uh, number one, I want them to know that um, there is an organization, Mediation, Constellation and Human Rights Center, that is uh, available to assist the poor masses who are seeking for justice. I want them to also know that they can also be supportive to the organization, to people that are in need, in order to get justice. They can be supportive in terms of um, provision of uh, financial support, in terms of um, uh, uh, logistic support, in terms of uh, offering advice, intellectual uh, uh, support. Because look at this country as it is now. Nobody is happy the way the country is being run. But over there, there is comfort. That's why a lot of people are drifting out of the country. If you go to the immigration office today, you see a lot of people waiting to In fact, the smallest of it, Abiyo Butade, you see crowd. Crowd. Everywhere in Ibadan, in Lagos, all the states, you see crowd struggling to obtain uh, uh, international passport with the hope of Taking uh, a flight. Taking a flight, getting out of the country, jackpot, jackpot, jackpot. Not only because of um, green pasture, but because over there, there is justice. Things are working fine and well. The laws are working over there. So the people, Nigerians in diaspora that are over there should also support and help those of us that are not going anywhere to bring back home justice, to ensure that um, what is happening there, we also struggle to make this country a better place to live. We need their support in all ramifications. I talk about collaboration. Yes, sir. Many people have the same spirit that we also uh, have. They have passion for humanity. But they don't know how to go about it. Hmm. These are the ways to render their selfless uh, services. God has helped them to uh, get out of the gulag, to uh, get comfort, to be in a comfort zone over there. They should also help those who cannot find their way out of this country but are suffering injustice, they should help them out by giving whatever support at their disposal.
Well, uh, it's a very wonderful, lovely one, and it has been all, all intellect lose for us to benefit in terms of education of human rights and what it means to be protected by the laws of human rights from Ambassador Comrade Kane, the Akiyemi JP, the MD CEO of Meditation Constellation and Human Rights Center in Ibadan, your state, a wonderful organization that is very keen about helping people to safeguard their human rights, their fundamental human rights, especially mm. in a time like this when things are going backward, when things are not really in a good perspective about our country, but with good work of people like uh, Ambassador Comrade, Kenya Kiemi, JP, we can always recall our good memories. And when it comes to procuring of justice, the Meditation, Constellation, and Human Rights Center in Ibadan is one of the best in your state. Uh, well, you are going to see the name scrolling on the broadcast. You're going to see the phone number. You're going to see the email address. You want to reach out to the center. You can write to them. You can make a call if the ambassador is not there to pick your call. One of his aides will pick the call. And for those that feel so very strong and with a kind and a golden heart, I think you want to push a good cause in terms of sponsoring of a good idea mm -hmm. of human rights development in this country, helping the ordinary people to gain their rights, helping the ordinary people to gain their freedom, and helping the ordinary people to purchase justice you can, re you can connect with him. He's a veteran in that regard. You can write to the center, and you will get a whole lot of good bargaining. And you will be very appreciated as well, especially people that want to support in terms of monetary, logistic, intellectual, research, everything. You have any problem, and you think that the center can help you, you can, react, you can reach out to the center, and you can also promote the activities so that you will get a good bargain anywhere in the world from America to London, to Canada, to France, to Algeria, to Bulgaria, to Egypt, down to Casablanca, to Ghana, to Freetown, down to Nigeria, Abuja, Lagos, anywhere. You can call this wonderful center, uh, Meditation, Constellation, and Human Rights Center in Ipadon, under the leadership of Ambassador Comrade Kendi Akinyemi, JP. I uh, want to thank you, sir, for your time. The, the, so the next time we're going to meet you, we're going to talk about politics because there's yes. a lot of dirty things going on in politics. Exactly, yes. And, uh, there is need uh, to address yeah, issues. We want you to address and help us look at the rights that ordinary citizens have in the hands of their local government chairman, mm -hmm. their councillor, mm -hmm. their senator, their honorables, even up to their governor. So we want to talk to you by then when we are back in the battle. I want to thank you so much, sir. Thank God you God bless you so much, sir. Yeah, so the next time we meet him, please be a good citizen. Regard the laws. Find justice and be right about it. God bless you. Goodbye.